that to me last week. What would you need for that? This here? Yeah, all that. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. That was fifty bucks. I don't know what this is missing. Is this is missing. Yeah, looks like it. And the, the missiles and shit. But yeah. No, I actually saw I that too. I still need the uh, missile. Only things I have. I need a missile yeah. launcher for mine, which apparently seems to be the. Uh, the bitch of the bunch. Of yeah, them. something you think should be easy is the one that's hard. Any uh, orange missiles in there? Orange? Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know if that goes in this. That's one of them way up. On the bottom, I think they go. Yeah, I think it's only got the two, right? Yeah, the other one's a Havoc missile. The other one. That goes on this one? No, yeah. All of it would be included? Yeah. What can you do five, on all of it? I got one, two. I had five dollars a piece for those. Yeah. And then I was going to sell this for ten. Yeah. But I can let it go for... No one bids. Is that what that is? Yeah. Five bucks for this. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks for everything? Yeah. Hmm. What do you want in him? Uh, that goes with this. Yeah. This, uh... Five bucks. Oh, it's a thing. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, his arms busted. That's busting. an excellent movie. I know. Well, it depends on which one you're watching. Is it, there's a newer version, right? Well, there's, uh... There's two of the ones. Oh, yeah. snake. Yeah, that like that sounds for like uh, forty something dollars on forty bucks online, and yeah. complete like that. I, I got a little room, you know. A little less. <laughs> I didn't think I had the gun to that until I looked at a different angle and it was red. I thought it was a black gun, you know? And then I'm like, yeah. just because when people take pictures, right. you can't really tell on eBay. Yeah. I never knew how to put it right there. Mm. It's really clean. You don't do Hot Wheels? No. Okay. No, G.I. Joe, some Transformers. Yep. Mainly early G1 stuff. Sun's out, guns out, what, you know?
switch on your transformers? They all they all vary. Uh, there's more in here too, sir. Okay, You're more than welcome to look. How about there. the truck ones? Uh, the ones on the table here. Yeah. If you get a bunch, I can I can do five bucks. I know, right? I keep buying knives. And I get them, you know what? Because, like, I, I, like, I love hiking. Everyone, like, always gets it from my hiking path. Yeah. And, like, I have, like, ten of them. And I'm, like... And I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Same boat. I'm, like, oh, I'm going to open this for a while. Look, still so get the Christmas stuff on it. I've been buying the big ones. And it's, like, all right, you can't even handle it. Like, what about you? The woods behind one? my yeah. house. I can't even walk around with the damn yeah. Hey, what are you getting on the uh, Voltron, guys? Ah... <laughs> uh, the only pigeon Keith, because I have Hunk. You have what? I have Hunk, so I would need Pidge and Keith. If you got the two, usually I'd go, go like eight a piece, so I could do the two for 15. Pidge is in good shape. There's a really, I think the one laying down, obviously is the, this one's beat up a little bit. Yeah. I did just get in, I'm getting, I'm waiting for him. The blue one with his helmet and the pink one with her helmet. Yeah, I need a. Uh, I have. Um, the helmets are crazy though, dude. I know. I actually was lucky enough somehow to Did still have one Voltron? of mine from when I was a kid. Yeah, that's the. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't do that to. Voltron, but that's yeah. the other one, yeah. And then I have other pots here from other stuff. Ooh. How's it going, sir? I think this fist goes to that guy, doesn't it? The fist does, yeah. yeah. I'm missing the car that goes the to it. The blue connector car, yeah. and then the all yellow foot are the only things missing on it. Do you remember if these, I mean, I don't know how well you know Voltron, but do you remember uh -huh, yeah. if these were universal on all of them? Because I am missing yeah. this on one of them. I, I don't want to steer you wrong, Justin. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure if they I'm were not or not. Myself, so. <sighs> Freddie's separating from his car. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> The supernaturals on the card? Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, the Indian dude, he's a little beat, he's got a rip there. He's in pretty good shape. Stuff you don't see. Where do you get all this stuff? Um, collections, literally. I have one guy that he just kind of points me in the right way. And yeah. He gets stuff and then I buy from him what he doesn't want. Yeah. I'm gonna check. I might need that piece. Okay. I gotta see if they're uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. universal or not. The I mean, mask oh, in here as well. I don't know if you do mask. Not really. No. I mean, I like mask. It's just one of those one more thing I don't need yeah, to get into. I agree. I started doing it. I was like, what am I doing? Here? Yeah. <laughs> like I told myself, I was basically gonna do GI Joe, and that was it. And then yeah. GI Joe went to GI Joe and Transformers, yeah. and now I pick up like Voltron stuff, visionary stuff. Yeah. Oh, I picked up a couple of them and I put them back because I'm like, can't start. No, no, I liked them, but maybe someday when I have more space. But I've got like so much stuff I just need to get rid of. Right. I should trade it to you, Josh, for stuff I want. <laughs> You're gonna set up next week too. No, this is like my my yard until springtime. <laughs> yeah. I will not be doing this ever again. <laughs> Not in this weather. You know what you should have done? Set up at that toy show. Which one? There's one in Mansfield today. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm doing one, um, Plasticon, uh, John's friend inside. You know, John, the guy with all the comics and stuff. Yeah. His buddy sets it up. Three shows at Hanover Mall last year, so. 
What do you say, Randy? Hey, you know your brownie? I know. Dude, what's going on? Not much. <laughs> you know, food. <laughs> so, did you, uh, what's the name of your child? Bill. Bill, okay. Couldn't remember the one. Bill. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw her, right? Yeah. Is that the one that says this? Is that the one that says this? Okay, I'll say hi. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Anything, you can open it up and then do it. You can even dump it out if you want to. <laughs> Just go to uh, Jeff Fire, right? Yeah. What are you getting on those? How much? Okay. Yeah, definitely gotta dump this out. <laughs> This, these are gluten, just FYI. Okay. So, just don't want you to get home and go and be <laughs> not happy about it. No, that's cool. Thanks. They're good for display. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what most of my stuff is nowadays. What am I looking at over there? What, what is thing? it? Oh, uh, you, uh, Chewbacca slippers. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, my God. what it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My in-laws got me those. Oh, is that and that's right? why they're here. Oh, okay. But they're no, they're they're awesome people. They're oh, yeah. Just, uh, oh, they're, they're the they, whole Star Wars thing. They're fan. just like, oh well, if you like Star Wars, I'll buy you everything that's oh, Star Wars. I'm okay. like, where am I gonna put this? Yeah, yeah. oh god. I know. <laughs> but no, they're good people. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like mine too. Yeah. I'll tease them. But not to their face. <laughs> so those are the Legos. I gotta take those out and put them together. It's part. They're part of a little Lego set. This is part of a Lego. Set? Yeah, I can show you that in a second. Oh, wow. Oh, can I get you? Oh, yeah. I hurt my back. Yeah, and here, here I go. Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's like. So it's like this, oh, and then you yeah. put them on. I recall that. And then yeah. it comes with a figure and a little ship. So oh. I've got to put them together. Um, right. Does this open? Is there something in there? Does this open up? Uh, or? They do not open up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, oh, it, yeah, we'll figure out how to put them back together. Oh, no, no problem. Just buy it and tell Michelle to put it together. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Let her have all the fun? Yeah. <laughs> Where can I put this? Oh. Well, you can throw it in the box here. That's oh, fine. it's okay. It's, it's all. Yeah. Yeah. Now, with these, I guess, yeah, this piece would snap off. I'd almost just like to display it. Well, I could. If yeah. I, yeah, just pull that. Yeah. I, I mean, don't kill yourself yeah. all over it. it it's, it's kind of. Oh, I always thought that was a cool version. Of oh yeah, no, it's one, yeah, of the, one of the few good things yeah. about that movie. Well, true. Yeah. The other day they were playing that on television. Yeah. You know, Friday night. Oh, you, uh, know, you got sucked stuff. in. Well, it, it's for about five minutes. Yeah. And then you're like, God, this is so freaking boring. You know, hey, let's not we gonna come? Let's go to Senate something. Council. I don't know. I just uh, just got here. Some parts for Jet Fire. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Exactly. <laughs> It's funny, I just literally picked up this guy from Josh like 20 minutes ago. What is that? It's from Voltron. The yeah. early, early Voltron, yeah. What's this? Maybe? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Kind of different. Some Transformers parts here. Mm -hmm. It's one other thing I might go back and check. I've only, I mean, I only got here a couple minutes ago. Yeah, I got here a lot for myself. Do, um, what were you asking for the bases here? Uh, five bucks a piece. Five? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 
if anything, I'm just trying to thin things down. It's really not the price that's hanging. Yeah. Blimp? Hanging me up. Oh, nice. What are you getting on the blimp? Bottom price, it does it does inflate uh, 50 bucks. That's cool. Yeah. One thing I always wanted as a kid. And it's the rarer of the two. I didn't realize it was yeah, more than one. two of them. He is 20 bucks. Is he really? Yeah. That little guy? That little guy. He is, uh, he's a particular Godzilla from uh, 78. Mm -hmm. um, I do 15. Um, okay. What do you got on the uh, D, &D guy? Which one? D, &D um, figure in my hand. I'll do five bucks. So 20 for the pair. You do uh, three for five? You yeah, said two apiece, three, right? Three for five. Cool. Yeah. The jet fire will look a little I was less naked. Say, if anything, to fill out, <laughs> fill out a video. Yeah. Thanks. Dude. Awesome. Thanks, man. Bucks with both of them. And one of them, I can't remember. One of them is the one going for more money. One's like seventy dollars. One's like thirty dollars. Oh really? Jeez, I yeah. didn't even know that. And I've never seen that color scheme with him before. Yeah, that was only at that show, the Comic Con. Was that New York? I think it was New York. Yeah. And that was the only time. So pump the price up. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Him too. He's, he's just sold yesterday on eBay for two fifty. Yeah. And this one sold yesterday on eBay for one seventy five what was that. But there's one other one but he's not marked either. Pretty sure that was a twenty five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah I got the hot topic one. I just think they're kind of cool. It's not something really I ever see of. So he is 25? Or? Okay. Oh, was he really? Yeah. And you said he'd be eight? Yeah. If you want the other one, I'd do it for 20. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you liked the video. So I got a ton of stuff here. Um, this is probably going back to the beginning of December, maybe the end of November. Um, I just haven't really had time to kind of even go through all this stuff. So I'm going to try to blow through this as quick as I can. It's got my normal type of pickups, you know, G.I. Joe, Transformers, uh, Voltron, some other odds and ends. Uh, I'm not going to do this in any kind of particular order. I'm just going to kind of grab and go. So stay tuned, see what I got, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, first off, I'll show you this guy. Um, I do have the platform. Unfortunately, he has two broken arms, but he still looked really cool, and I got him for a real good deal. Um, he's the alien from the movie The Thing. Um, which is, I love these figures. Every time I come across them, I'm going to pick them up, especially if they're cheap. Um, but I got the alien there. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, like I said, he's got two broken arms. Uh, not really a big deal to me because he still looks really cool and he's going to sit with my horror stuff over on the shelf over there. Um, so nice little pickup. I think I paid like two bucks for him uh, as I drop him on the table. Um, I love my horror stuff and... You know, I gotta start whittling down certain like my collection. I'm gonna kind of stay with certain things, but I'll kind of get to that at the end of the video. Uh, these three guys I picked up for a dollar. Um, I mainly picked them up for a dollar because I wanted one of the main figures here. Uh, he does need to be cleaned up a little bit, um, and the other two are just gonna kind of go in the the trade pile or donate pile um, for a good cause. Uh, the first one I picked up he's kind of beat up and looks like he was well played with uh is the punisher i'm not sure if he's from the legends line or if he's toy biz i haven't really looked into him um he's for sale or trade if anybody's interested like i said he's a little beat up as you can see on the skull there on his chest aside from that he's in really good condition his joints are really tight um nice overall figure but I don't collect those, so I'm not going to keep them. Uh, this guy I picked up because who doesn't love Skeletor? Um, 
he doesn't really move he has like an action feature I'm not sure what he's from but if you let him go he kind of like punches as you can see there so I don't know if I'll hang on to him or not to tell you the truth um, he's kind of cool but yeah uh, this one I picked up he has nothing aside from what's on his body <laughs> he's missing his shield he's missing his sword he's missing um, his chest piece but like I said, I basically paid 33 cents for him, so where are you going to go wrong? Uh, is a modern day He-Man. I have around here somewhere a more modern Skeletor, so I'll probably put them together with my Castle Grayskull that I got forever ago and, you know, have that set up off somewhere. But that would really be it to my He-Man collection, because one, I don't have the space, and two, I already collect too much stuff. Um, moving on, I grabbed this guy at the Toy Vault. I would love to find the other two that came with him, um, which these Mortal Kombat figures were really, really cool. I don't know why I didn't grab, he also had a Scorpion there, and when I went back for him the next day, he was gone, unfortunately. Um, but I got Sector. They're about the size of a G.I. Joe. Um, they have a ton of points of articulation, and they just look and feel awesome. Um, there was two other figures, well, guys, that came with him after I looked him up because I want to know some information on him. Um, Cyrax and... Was it Smoke? I don't know. Maybe it was Smoke. Uh, the uh, three of them came together in a box set. Um, I'm going to try to track down the other two at some point because they were my favorite characters in the Mortal Kombat series. I just... When I used to play when I was younger and I was actually good at Mortal Kombat, I used to play Ultimate Mortal Kombat a lot, I would use uh, Cyrax and Sector probably the most out of anybody. Um, but I was glad to pick him up. He was really cool and I really hope I can find the other two for cheap. Uh, this guy I picked up, I haven't even taken him out of the package yet. I got him, I think the week before Christmas. Uh, mainly I grabbed him because he had his front hologram plate and he came with one of his weapons. I had this guy when I was a kid and he's also got his helmet which is awesome. and. I, I just love these guys, and if anybody ever comes across me or sees them and wants to trade them or sell them to me or donate them to me, I'm never asking for anything for free, but I have plenty of stuff for trade too. Uh, definitely let me know. Um, it's one of the visionaries. Holograms were a big thing when I was a kid in the 80s, early 90s, um, so they made toys with holograms, which was cool. Um, so if you come across any of these uh, or you know anything else that I collect, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm definitely open to trading. So I grabbed him. He was really cool to pick up. I was glad to pick him up. I got him at the Toy Vault as well. Um, they have these cool little bags now. They put their loose figures in. That's also where I got uh, Sector. So, nice place. They have some okay prices. Some of their stuff is really overpriced. Some of it is priced very well. And there's very few things in the store that are underpriced. But if they are, they generally don't last long. Um, yeah. So, moving on to that. Um... One of the other stores in the mall is closing its Go Figure or something like that. It's mainly a calendar store, but they sell a lot of uh, toys and pops and other odds and ends and whatnot. All their stuff is currently 50% off until they decide to close. I asked the guy actually Saturday or Friday, whenever I was there last in the mall, if they go any lower than 50%. And he said, nope, 50% is as low as we go. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, so I picked this one up. There's one other there that I might go back and pick up. I'm not under 100% sure yet or not. The box in this guy is a little beat, but whatever. The figure looks cool as hell. Uh, is in, from Alien Covenant. It's the Xenomorph. I basically got him for half about what he goes on eBay. So that was still a really nice pickup there. Um, he's a really cool figure. He's going to go with my horror collection, which I need to redo the shelves yet again. Um, I just, I don't know, I gotta figure out what I got. And then maybe once I kind of refigure out the shelves, I will do like a little tour of my toys, my toy collection. Uh, moving on. Um, I also picked up some Voltron stuff. I picked this guy up at the same time I picked up that Xenomorph. Um, basically I paid, I think I paid like five bucks for it. And they go for about ten at Target, so... I got him for half price. Um, is the yellow lion. He's got the little... I don't know how he works exactly. I don't know, but he does a little motion. 
basically, yeah, see, okay, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the yellow lion's my favorite lion, I was always a big fan of hunk, uh, in the original one and the new one, so, you know, grabbing that for cheap, and that was the only one they had, too, so, kind of fell in my favor. So, those of you that do follow the world of toy collecting, modern toys, you all know I'm a big fan of Voltron. They recently came out with the Voltron 84 Lions, so the ones from the original series kind of look like the they build into the tall lion. And I've got three out of the five so far. I have yet to see the black lion. I have seen the green lion, but I didn't grab them. I tried to grab these guys when I could. I should have grabbed the green lion when I saw him, but I didn't because, I don't know, I'm an idiot. But anyway, uh, the blue lion, they look like the old style from 1984. See, it says 84 up here. Nice, clean, and if I could ever figure out where the camera angle is, there we go. Um, he makes the old style lion and comes out to about, I think he's like... 16 inches tall something like that yeah 16 inches tall um so i get the blue lion the red lion and of course my favorite yellow lion so i am looking for the green and black i haven't seen the black out yet um i'm not really worried about them being in short supply like the originals were when they first came out um but now you can get them everywhere so I'll, I'll eventually get them, not in any huge rush. They just recently came out, I think, just after Christmas, just right around the New Year. So they've only been out like a week and a half. So I'll find them, no rush. Um, I grabbed these two off my buddy Josh. Uh, the last day he was set up at the flea market for the year, he's not going to set up again until it gets warmer out. Um, two of the guys I needed from my Voltron original collection, I got Pidge and... Keith. So I grabbed those two. I think the only one I'm missing now is um, Princess Allura um, and a couple of the bad guys. So uh, he supposedly has Princess Allura that he's holding aside for me till later on. So I will keep that in mind. Uh, but, uh, where am I going to go from there? Uh, I grabbed these guys at five below of all places. I don't normally pick these up, but for basically being half of normal retail, I figured I'd grab them. They'd work really good for trade bait. Um, yeah, basically work good for trade bait on some of the uh, the action figure sites that I'm on on Facebook. But I got three of these for five bucks a piece. I got Ultron. Sorry about the glare. I just, we've been through this a million times. Spider Man 2099. He's one of my favorite Spider-Mans. Um, the only thing is, I liked the blue and red costume better than this one. Um, as much as I love the Spider-Man 2099, he is definitely going to be for trade or sale. And the last one I got is Magneto. I really like this style of Magneto. It, he just kind of looks a little creepy. Kind of Age Apocalypse style. So I might end up hanging on to this one, but the other ones are definitely for sale or trade. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, don't fall. Whatever, they're gonna fall. Uh, moving on to, yeah, I'll move on to the transformer stuff. So I grabbed a couple transformers at different times and locations. I actually grabbed these two yesterday. Um, I got them two for five bucks out of a bin. They are both original G ones. Uh, one of them, the other of them have anything that they come with. This guy only came with a gun. Um, I don't remember his name, I did look him up earlier, but he's one of those really easy to transform transformers, basically, ta-da, there he is, um, so I grabbed him, I don't know if I'll keep him, because I'm only keeping specific transformers, like basically the ones that were in the cartoon movie like you guys know i've said a million times so if anybody's interested in those original dream ones uh those i haven't even shown the second one yet um if, it, if you're interested in either of these let me know uh and this little bike guy i don't know who he is or what his name is he apparently had two attachments that went on either side um that were guns 
that made him, I don't know, whatever. But they are very easy transformers to transform. Uh, moving on, I grabbed these from, uh, you guys saw a video of this toy show. I left a couple things behind. One thing I should have grabbed and I didn't was a video game, but I'm an idiot. It's all right. It happens. It's what happens when you hem and haul with things. If you think you even want it a little bit, grab it. If it's a good price, don't hem and haw over it and go back. Anyway, moving on back to the Transformer stuff. Um, I got a couple parts for... Why am I drawing a wicked blank? Um, I don't know, I can't think of his name. Um, for one of the Jets, uh, just a couple pieces for it. I basically paid five bucks for the three parts of those, which is nice. I would like to get more parts for them eventually, but I'm not in any huge rush, so... It is what it is. I grabbed this guy the other day at Target. Uh, he was half off. Actually, it was more than half off on their clearance. I opened this one because I do have another one that is not opened. But it is Cosmos. I remember I couldn't find him or see spray for the longest time. And then all of a sudden, they were everywhere. You couldn't not find them at Target's. Um, and then when Target started blowing out a lot of their last generation not in the last generation but the end of the combiner series transformers he was one of the ones to get the axe and price and i grabbed him for like four bucks uh same thing with this one i grabbed him he's not really in the movie but i really find these guys to be really cool it is one of the titans return he's a mini he's a uh, sky tread i don't think i have him i have to double check to see what i have over there uh and then moving on to more current Transformers. Uh, I grabbed these four. They're new from the Power of the Prime series. I'm now only missing basically the big ones at this point. Um, but I grabbed the first. She's the first female Dinobot. She's also a new Dino, like a new Dinobot because she's never existed before. She's a Raptor, and her name is Slash. So it was cool. She's ended up. She'll end up being a giant combiner with Grimlock and the other Dinobots, which I have two of the other four, so the other ones haven't been out yet. But once I do, I'll get them. Uh, Beachcomber, he is in the movie. At some point in time, I think he might have been, like, technically cut out or technically killed. I don't remember. Um, but he's in the movie at some point, so I picked him up. Same thing with Wind Charger. He's in the movie. So it definitely was nice to grab these guys. I also like these ones because they went back to the old school style of how they look and not like, you know, the cartoony style like some of these look and the movie style, which not a huge fan of the movie style. But, yeah, you know, it's nice to pick up stuff to remind you of when you were a kid. Uh, and the last one here is Scrapnel. Pretty sure it's Shrapnel, but they put Scrapnel. But whatever, he was in the movie. He's one of the guys that Hot Rod jumps off of to get into Autobot City while it's being attacked. If you know anything about the movie. If not, check it out. I do have the beginning of Transformers season here that my parents got me for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So I grabbed this guy. I've always wanted him since I was a kid. I got him for a killer deal. I've bought a few pieces for him since I picked him up. I got the shell of him in good shape. He's a little bit loose, but so so what from 1982-83 um, is Soundwave. He's the pre-rub one, so he's the earlier version before, you know, they had the little hologram on it that you could rub and it would show, you know, Decepticon or Autobot. Um, I got the gun and one of the missiles off a buddy of mine, and I have a second missile, so I'm only actually missing his other handgun. And I believe he came with one or two of the tapes. I don't know if he came with Ravage or not. Uh, I gotta look into that. But he's one of my favorites. I ended up buying the clip for the back too. So he was he's a great bad guy. And if you guys haven't watched Transformers, definitely watch it. It's the well worth cartoon series. But if you're watching my show here and you know I collect retro toys, then you probably at some point in time have watched Transformers. Um, now moving on to my favorite part, which is all the G.I. Joes. I have a ton of G.I. Joe stuff here. I'm going to try to blow through real quick. I can't think of half their names off the top of my head right now, which is terrible because I should know this being a G.I. Joe collector. 
So I'm going to just kind of dive right in and go through it. Uh, first off, I picked this guy up. At, of all places, I picked it up at a trading card show. I went to a card show. I haven't been to them in a long time. I used to do a lot with sports cards um, before I got back into toys and video games and all that stuff. And I went to go see some people I knew and maybe pick up some stuff for my Miami Dolphins collection if I came across anything, which I really didn't. I spent 12 bucks and then I paid for this thing. Um, this is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive G.I. Joe set. Um, it comes with four figures, uh, the Cobra Scythe and the G.I. Joe Chamara, which is actually basically a recolored hiss. And this is the... Uh, the... Sky Striker, jeez. Um, but it looked really cool. The figures in it are really cool looking. And I don't really collect modern G.I. Joes, but this was too good of a deal to pass up. I got it basically for half of what it goes for online. Um, I don't think I'm going to open it, so it's probably just going to stay in the box. Uh, like some of my other G.I. Joe stuff. Because, like I said, I don't collect the newer stuff, but that was a really nice thing to, to have. Uh... Continuing on, I got a nice offer up deal which had uh, two vehicles and like nine figures. I got it for about 40 bucks from the guy. Um, it ended up being a really good deal after I looked into it. I knew it was already a good deal, uh, but you can't complain. The first thing I got was the maggot. If I can get it all on screen together. Hooray! Sorry, I'm trying to do like, I forget which angle my camera's at. Uh, I got the G.I. Joe maggot, or the Cobra maggot. Um, it's unfortunately, I do need a new gun, which is on its way. I uh, talked to a guy in one of the G.I. Joe sites I'm on, and it needs the four legs. I got three out of four coming, so if anybody has one, definitely let me know. Um, so that was cool to get, because I've always wanted one of those. I got another one of the pods for the, the Mamba. It's complete with all its missiles and everything. And I'm probably going to be piecing together a Mamba. A buddy of mine's got some G.I. Joe stuff to sell me that I just have to get back to him and we got to agree on a price. But um, that'll be like almost to a full Mamba because I have pieces to one as well. Uh, anyway, like I said, trying to blow through this. Um, I got Zanzibar's Skiff. Unfortunately, the handles are broken on it. But for now, I don't really care. Um, it'll kind of be there until I come across another one cheap because that's not an expensive figure by any means. Uh, I got the G.I. Joe, well, Cobra Trouble Bubble. It is complete. The glass is a little cloudy, but I think I should be able to clean that up and make it look better. It is complete. Unfortunately, the only thing is I didn't realize when I bought it that the tip of the gun is broken. So I'll probably eventually replace that. It shouldn't be a big deal to replace. But aside from that, the stickers are really clean. It's got everything on there, the bombs and the whole nine yards. So that's a nice pickup to have. Uh, also part of that lot that wasn't part of that lot that was part of uh, in the video if you guys saw it I got that on a very cold day I think it was the last day at Seekonk um, then I got the parachute this came in a lot with everything else the parachute is still wrapped up inside I don't want to unwrap it because I don't know what kind of uh, like how fragile it is um, so that's going to stay there and uh, what was this? Oh, a little uh, one of the little wind-up guns had a little seat on it. This guy's in great condition. There's no stickers put on him. I don't know if the stickers were ever put on him, but I love coming across these little mobile backpacks. They don't go for much. They're not really hard to find, uh, but they're really cool because I used to love playing with these as a kid. Um, now the fun part, which is all the yeah, the actual figures. Oh, these came with the. Jeez, drawing a blank. So these came with some of the figures that I bought at Seekonk. Uh, the Cobra Flight Pod uh, directions, the Awe Striker directions. Uh, the only thing is I didn't buy an Awe Striker, but it was with it uh, in Awe Striker. It's an AWE, not Awe, but that's all right, whatever. And the file card for Crankcase. This was with this stuff here because Crankcase is over here as well. Um, let's see how fast I can blow through these figures. So, no particular order or when I got them or how I got them. Uh, if I remember, I'll kind of say a quick tidbit about it, where I got it from. I got Wildcard. 
I got him at Seekonk and a lot, uh, not Seekonk, I'm sorry, I got him at Raynham and a lot off a guy who's had a ton of Joes lately and he's been making some good deals with me and a couple of friends. Um, I can't think of this guy's name off the top of my head, but he's one of the bad guys. He's really cool. I've never had him before. Uh, yeah. So him. Who doesn't love Sergeant Slaughter? And this is the Slaughter's, Slaughter's Marauders series. I now have two or three different Sergeant Slaughters, um, but I was glad to grab him. I got him at Seekonk and a lot, along with these next two, I think, were in that lot, too. Uh, this is Overlord. I ended up having to piece him together out of a box of parts that was for sale separately, but I ended up getting all his pieces. Uh, I got the Night Viper with his helmet piece, which was nice. There are no other parts there to him, but that's okay. Um, I got Captain Gridiron. He had a few things with him. He had his helmet with the visor and his shoulder pads. Um, I don't know why I really... Like, I never had Captain Gridiron as a kid, but I really like him for some reason, and I was glad to grab him. I got him part of that lot uh, that I got at Seekonk, I believe, as well. Uh, let's see. I also got... This is Crankcase here. Uh, he has his helmet, but no gun. That's okay as well. I got yet another Alley Viper, which is nice because these guys are great army builders. He has his mask, which is great. Um, these guys are getting expensive. If you try to buy one complete, it's going to cost you anywhere from about 20 to 30 bucks. Um, but now he makes two in my collection, I believe. Yeah, he'll be my second one. Um, I don't remember this guy's name. He's one of the later G.I. Joes. He was supposed to be part of the Eco Force or the DEF. But then they kind of canceled the line and went from there. Um, drawing a wicked blank on his name. I'm sorry. Uh, this guy is long range, I believe. He has no weapons or anything with him. He's supposed to have a helmet and a gun. Uh, his hand looks like it's seen better days. But aside from that, he's in pretty nice shape. And then I got the original Sub-Zero. Pre-Mortal Kombat days. Um, I'm doing all the guys that aren't in bags first. Um, I grabbed this one from... Where did I get this one? I got this one at Toy Vault. He's missing his hologram on the front and most of his weapons except for one is another bat. He'll make my third bat in the series. Um, this is the Gyro Viper with his helmet. I got that part of that uh, $40 lot. Um, I grabbed this guy. He was in a bag of stuff at Savers. Is Beachhead. And then my second, which was in the $40 lot as well, is uh, Zanzibar. Which, it's kind of cool variation from the one I have. He's made in China. Mine was made in Hong Kong. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them both because one's kind of a variant. They both look identical aside from that. Um, moving on, I got an Iron Grenadier. He'll be my second one. Uh, I believe this is version one of the Heat Viper. Doo -doo -doo. Um, this guy is a duplicate. He is complete, so if you need him, he's for trade. Is Hardball. And then we have another guy I found at Savers in the bag with Beachhead. And a bunch of other toys. It was Updraft. Let's see that um, I paid, I got this one at random as well with another figure, is the Eco Warriors Flint. He's complete, which was nice. I had him when I was a kid, so I have very fond memories of him. Um, I got, this one's an upgrade to one that I already have, is Cutter. He's the whale driver, which the cool part is, it's really hard to see through the bag, I'm sure. Um, he's got a little red B on his hat for the Boston Red Sox, which right here. Um, doo -doo -doo. I got Iceberg. I picked him up at Raynham last weekend, I believe. I got Grand Slam. He's the straight arm version. I did not pay 15 bucks for him. Uh, I got him at Raynham as well. Um, a lot of these that do have prices on them are wrong. I paid, I didn't pay resale for any of these. Uh, Baroness with the wrong colored gun. Uh, she has a red gun. I need a black gun. But aside from that, she's complete. I grabbed him from the toy vault. Is Mutt. 
uh, minus Junkyard. He is the um, Sergeant Slaughter Marauders variation. Um, this is... What is his name? Snowstone? No. Avalanche? Maybe it's Avalanche. I could be wrong. With his helmet, I got him from Toy Vault as well. Um, do, do, do. And this one's from the Toy Vault. And the other one in my hand is from the $40 lot. Is I got a, a worm. He's the maggot driver. And the whole reason I bought that lot in the first place was for this worm. He is complete. He even has his little antenna. Which, because of his antenna, this goes from like a $10 to $15 figure to like a $50 to $60 figure just because of that little antenna. It's one of the harder to find G.I. Joe parts that are out there. And it's in mint shape. So he's going to be actually be going in a hard case just in case. Um, then I also got at Raynum, uh Gristle. He was cheap. I got an upgrade to my originals, uh, Tom X and Zamet. Uh, it has one of the two guns, so I am looking for one gun in their zipline. Uh, I got a complete uh, airtight. Wow, jeez. Sorry, it's kind of like in the middle of a baggie. But he's complete. He's got everything, including his hose. Uh, is there anybody else I'm missing? Just him and these two. Okay. Um, I picked up a... Rakondo complete. I'm not sure which variation of the pants he is because he had like three or four variations. I don't think one's really worth more than the other. Um, I picked up this guy is complete. I actually completed him with a couple buddies of mine while we were standing there, which was cool because he was just the figure and then we found all his parts. Um, his Outback. My Outback, this is an upgrade to mine because the one I found over the summer for a dollar uh, had seen a lot better days. And I believe this is it for the... Yeah. So last but certainly not least is a version 2 Snake Eyes with Timber. He's unfortunately missing his sword. Um, but I still got him for a really good deal without his sword. So I do need a sword, which is probably going to cost me almost as much as I paid for this guy alone. Which stinks, but... Um, I'm not in any rush to get it, so if I can come across it or trade for it, that'd be great. But that's my lovely half-hour recap on toys and pickups for a month and a half. Um, yeah, about a month and a half, almost two months. I'm hopefully going to probably do these more often. I know I've said that in the past before, but between now and, you know, my video game videos, i got to kind of put something together. I'm going to try to do some other stuff to fill the empty time that's kind of in this dead time of year for me. Um, I'll probably do some more collection videos. I'll do some toy collection videos. I'll do some video game collection videos. So definitely check those out. Um, I'm also possibly growing a beard. I haven't 100% decided yet. It's half laziness and half of the fact that my wife wants to see what I would look like with a beard. So um, I might amuse her and just grow a beard. Um, and also, it's warmer during the winter. So, yeah. Um, anyways, getting off that topic. <laughs> uh, that's it, guys. I, I really appreciate you watching, sticking tuned with me for this uh, about 35 minutes of recap for probably about a 20-minute video at the most. So this thing's going to be long. Um, definitely check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know the whole nine yards. Check out my Instagram, my Facebook page if you want to get in touch with me. My Instagram will show you stuff that I get when I get it instead of you having to wait for the video recaps, which I really wish you would watch as well. Um, I'm also thinking about doing um, some kind of toy giveaway because I did do a video game giveaway, uh, which I know some of you guys probably got involved in. Uh, let me know what you would love to have. I'm sure there's a lot of things you would love to have because there's a lot of things I would love to have. Um, but yeah, because I do got to kind of shrink down this a little bit. Uh, so real quick before I sign off, um, you know what? I'm going to save that for another video. Um, but anyway, uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.